Have you ever wondered how some people can easily strike up a conversation with anyone? How they can talk so comfortably, even with strangers? Imagine having that ability, effortlessly connecting with people around you. That's the power of effective communication. And no, it's not a gift some lucky ones are born with, it's a skill that can be learned, honed, and mastered. Now what if I told you there's a book that can guide you in doing just that? A book that reveals the secrets of communication, and how you can use them to your advantage. That book is, How to Talk to Anyone, by Leo Lowndes. It's a treasure trove of insights, tips, and techniques that can transform your communication skills, and ultimately, your life. So whether you're a professional looking to enhance your interpersonal skills, or simply someone who wants to connect better with people, this book is for you. Well, today we dive into the fascinating world of communication and explore the key takeaways from the book, How to Talk to Anyone. So, what's the secret behind these conversation wizards? Let's find it out. How to Talk to Anyone by Leo Lowndes is a treasure trove of tips and tricks, all neatly packaged into several key chapters. Each chapter is a stepping stone leading you on the path to becoming a conversation maestro. Let's dive in and explore the core chapters. Chapter 1 sets the stage by focusing on body language. It's not just about what you say, it's also about how you say it. From the tilt of your head to the direction of your gaze, every subtle movement speaks volumes. This chapter unravels the hidden language of the body, helping you decode and utilize these subtle cues to your advantage. Moving on, we come to Chapter 2, The Art of Making a Memorable First Impression. It's said that the first impression is the last impression, and this chapter helps you make it count. It's about presenting yourself in a way that's not only appealing, but also authentic. From the warmth of your smile to the firmness of your handshake, every detail matters. Next is Chapter 3, which is all about mastering small talk. Small talk is often brushed off as trivial, but it's actually a powerful tool. This chapter shows you how to use small talk as a bridge, a way to connect with others and build rapport. It's about finding common ground, sharing experiences, and sparking conversations that go beyond the surface. The subsequent chapters continue in this vein, each adding another layer to your conversation toolkit. They cover everything from active listening to the use of humor, from managing disagreements to maintaining a positive conversation flow. Each chapter offers unique insights, practical tips, and actionable advice to help you communicate with confidence and ease. And there you have it, a brief overview of the key chapters in How to Talk to Anyone. Each chapter is a piece of the puzzle, and when put together they reveal a comprehensive guide to effective communication. These chapters offer a blueprint for becoming a master conversationalist, but let's delve a bit deeper into the main points. Now that we've skimmed the surface it's time to dive deep into the main points from the book. First off, let's tackle the power of the smile. Lowndes asserts that your smile can be a potent tool in establishing connections. A genuine, heartfelt smile can break barriers, making people feel warm and welcomed. It's not just about curving your lips upward, it's about allowing that positivity to radiate from within you. Next, she discusses the importance of the big baby pivot. This means giving someone your full attention just as a baby would. By pivoting your body towards them and maintaining eye contact you're telling them that they have your complete focus. This simple gesture can make people feel valued and appreciated. Then we have the sticky eyes technique. Prolonged eye contact, according to Lowndes, can create a sense of intimacy and trust. It's like your eyes are sticking to the other person, conveying your genuine interest in what they have to say. Lowndes also emphasizes the power of parroting or repeating the last few words that someone said. This technique shows that you're actively listening and engaging with their thoughts. It encourages the other person to elaborate more, fostering a deeper conversation. Additionally, she talks about the echoing technique. This involves using the same words or phrases used by the other person. It creates a sense of familiarity and rapport, making the conversation more comfortable and engaging. Lastly, Lowndes highlights the importance of paying genuine compliments. Compliments, when sincere and well-timed, can build a strong connection with others. It shows your appreciation for them and boosts their self-esteem. So these are some of the main points from Leo Lowndes' book, How to Talk to Anyone. Each strategy is meant to enhance your communication skills, making you a more effective and engaging conversationalist. Whether in personal or professional settings, these skills can significantly improve your interactions, leading to more meaningful and fruitful relationships. 
Armed with these tips and strategies from Leah Lowndes' book, you're now ready to strike up a conversation with anyone, anywhere. Remember, communication is an art, and with practice, you too can become a master at it.